Are you wondering if using public variables is faster than getters and setters? If you're working on a custom physics engine for your game, this question is crucial. Stick around as we dive into this topic and uncover the best practices for your project. I totally get it. When you're developing a game, every bit of performance counts. You want your physics engine to run smoothly, especially when you have multiple instances of your physics object class. You're not alone in this concern. Many developers face similar dilemmas. Let's break down the specific question at hand. One user asked, will creating a setter and getter function for each variable impact performance? They also wondered if public variables could be an exception to the rule of bad practice. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's the deal with public variables versus getters and setters? Public variables can be faster because they allow direct access, but they can also lead to less control and potential bugs. Getters and setters provide encapsulation, which is great for maintaining code quality, but they can introduce overhead. Let's dig deeper into this. And don't go anywhere. At the end of this video, I'll share a tip that could help you optimize your physics engine even further. First, let's address the performance aspect of using getters and setters versus public variables. The user should understand that while public variables can be faster due to direct access, they can lead to issues with encapsulation and maintainability. Next, the user should consider the number of instances they will be creating. With at least 100 instances of the physics object class, the overhead of using getters and setters could add up but it may not be significant enough to impact overall performance. Now let's talk about best practices. The user should weigh the benefits of using getters and setters for data validation and encapsulation against the need for performance. In many cases, using getters and setters is recommended for better code quality. Finally, if the user decides to use public variables for performance reasons, they should document this decision clearly in their code. This will help future developers understand the rationale behind this choice. Fun fact, did you know that the first video game, Pong, was created in just a few weeks? It's amazing how far we've come in game development, but some principles like performance optimization remain timeless. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user emphasizes that while public variables may seem convenient, they violate object-oriented design principles. Instead, they advocate for using getters and setters, which adhere to these principles and provide better structure to your code. Here's the tip I promised. Always profile your code. Use tools to measure the performance impact of your choices. This way, you can make informed decisions that will enhance your game's performance. And there you have it. Whether you choose public variables or getters and setters, understanding their impact is key to optimizing your physics engine. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more insights and tips on game development.